Well, I'll tell you what, the weekend was a nice break from all of the heat. I know. To be able to sit outside without yeah. having to be in a body of water of some sort was so pleasant. It, yes, exactly. No, we had the clouds around. We even had some rain showers kind of here and there. We didn't pick up a whole lot of rain, but, you know, there was some, and it definitely made a difference in our temperatures this weekend. Just kind of looking back at July, today is August 1st. We only picked up at the airport at least 0.42 inches of rain. Now, that's obviously not a lot. Typically, we see a little over three and a half inches. And believe it or not, we did have one tornado in Oklahoma. It was over in Broken Arrow and that took place last week. And the coldest temperature that we had was 67 degrees. So it was a very warm month for us. Now, as far as August is concerned, we still start out pretty hot. On average, highs will be in the low to mid 90s. And we end the month with the average high being in the upper 80s. As far as rain is concerned, we see a little over three inches. And it's not a big severe weather month by any means for us, but we see anywhere from one to maybe two tornadoes in the entire state. Not expecting any tornadic weather today. What we have going on is just some light rain showers basically along in south of I-40, and this is all going to be winding down later this afternoon. But a couple of light little rain showers around Oklahoma County, all kind of drifting off to the east. A couple of showers just north of Hitchcock, also around Shawnee and Kanawha and Winnie Wood, Ellick and Bailey, Rush Springs, Lawton seeing plenty of rain right now, which is good for southern Oklahoma. It seems like over the past week or so, most of the rain chances took place to the north. So now southern Oklahoma at least getting in on that chance. And the clouds aren't going away anytime soon. It's still cloudy over Norman. This is our Norman regional camera. But over Pike Pass Sky Cam Network, keeping the temperatures on the cooler side, relatively speaking, at least 81 degrees. South-southwest wind at 10 miles an hour. Dew points in the mid-60s, where we do have plenty of sunshine across northern Oklahoma. We're already in the low to mid-90s. But across the south, we still have some 90s poking through, but where it's raining currently, it's 78 degrees right now in Medicine Park. We've got a southwest wind between about 15 to 30 miles an hour. So it's going to be windy this afternoon. In fact, it's going to stay breezy overnight tonight. A little bit more wind as we get into tomorrow. But this little boundary, it's just going to continue to move off to the south and east, and that rain will start to wind down here later this evening and into tonight. And then after that, it could be a while before we do get a, another really good chance of rain. I do think on Thursday, there's a very slight chance of rain during the day, but temperatures are still going to be really hot. The heat dome, it's still going to be our main feature over the next week and a half or so. Temperatures will be right around, if not maybe a little bit above 100 degrees. Today, though, if we can work in some more sun, eventually temperatures should make it into the middle 90s, kind of the mid and upper 90s across the south, maybe just a little bit hotter to the north where we're already seeing that sun. For this afternoon, any one location across northern and central Oklahoma, it's a pretty low chance of additional showers, but later this afternoon, most of those higher chances will be staying to the south. And then overnight and into tomorrow morning, still keeping a low overall chance for some isolated showers. As temperatures drop down into the upper 70s tomorrow morning. Now tomorrow afternoon it's going to be significantly hotter. Also expecting a lot more sunshine with that south wind. So high of 101 degrees in Oklahoma City, 103 in Ponca City, 105 in Hobart, 103 in Lawton, 105 in Altus. And then on Wednesday afternoon, even hotter. That wind now out of the southwest, so 103 degrees in Oklahoma City, low 100s almost all across the board. The far east though, upper 90s, not a huge difference, but yeah, it's just going to be hot for quite some time and very little chance for rain. So if you are getting that rain today, which most of us have started out at least earlier this morning with getting at least some light rain showers around. So that's some good news. But, you know, our grass may look a little bit greener here over the next couple of days, but we're going to be drying out after that.